here are some techniques on how to solve system sorry inequalities okay that is unlike your secondary school so for a i have x square is smaller than 4x cubed always bring it to one side so i will have 4x cubed minus 4 minus x square the worst thing you can do is go and oh divide by x square never divide away a, a variable because it will go you will have some values that's missing okay now you factorize it i will have x square 4x minus 1 okay so in your on your number line you know that the roots are 0 as well as 1 over 4 all you need to do is to sub in a value of 1 so when when x is equal to 1 you don't even need to know the value all you need to know whether it is positive or negative when x is equal to 1 i know that this is going to be positive okay then how about if x is equal to now a number between 0 and uh, one quarter maybe 0 0.2 okay so you have 0 0.2 square and 0 for that this will be positive this will give you positive and 0 0.2 but this will give you negative so this part will be negative then when you put in a value that is lesser than zero so maybe when you when you inside your brain you think of when x is equals to negative one and i put in negative one i will have x square which will give me positive four times negative one and that's negative and this will this part will be negative as well so for the first part because i want that the equation to be greater than zero my answer is only x greater equals to one over four okay for part b the the working will be a lot longer okay so the thing about inequality in jc is you cannot cross multiply as you don't know that it is a positive value okay Un unless you know that it's a positive value so in this case never ever multiply the denominator upwards okay and you can only multiply the x plus 2 square as well as x minus 1 square which is the commonly common method when one of one side is equal to zero okay so the method would be we have to bring the x over 8 over x plus 2 x minus 1 minus x okay so i'm going to make common denominator x square plus x minus 2 x plus 2 x minus 1 okay there, there will be quite a long working over here so this will be x cubed minus x square plus 2x over x plus 2 or x minus 1 okay uh, i will definitely make the numerator to be a positive x cubed so i'll multiply by negative one and multiply by negative one here so if i multiply by negative one on both sides right then my inequality sign has to change because this is the basics of inequality that you have to know when you multiply by negative one uh, the operations have to change i'm going to have x cubed plus x square minus 2x minus 8 and you will have x plus 2 uh, x minus 1 okay so you can use your gc to find the first root how do i use my gc to find the first root okay i go to my apps and i go to my polynomial solver that would be number one okay i think it's order three okay and then you press next so i have x cubed plus x square minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 okay when i press this i will only have one solution but however because this is cubic right which means that the other solution cannot be factorized nicely okay so i think it's x minus 2 because it's x equal to 2 so i can use inspection to understand how i can get my the other quadratic factor so i know that this is x square because x times x is going to give you x cubed so that's the first one okay as well as i know that my last number is negative 8 right so i know my constant here is plus 4 because this times this must give me negative 8 okay i don't know what is in the middle it, all i need to do is to let x in my brain i let x equals to 0 okay i will have okay i cannot let x equals to 0 because the uh, 
I let x equals to in my brain I let x equals to one, so my left side will be one plus what negative eight. Okay, equals to so this side will be negative eight. Now I put it in. I know that there is a plus a x plus or rather plus b x over here. I do not know what is the b. So I put one inside. So I will have one minus two. Okay, and then one plus b plus four. Okay, so I will have negative 8 is equal to negative B plus 5. Okay, so B is equal to 3. Alright, yeah, so this is what you substitute inside in your head. Okay, so I know that this is going to be 8. Okay, if you are still confused about this method, okay, it's called the inspection method whereby I know that from the first coefficient of x cubed as well as the constant I can make out x square and 4 because of x square times x must give you x cubed negative 2 times 4 must give you negative 8 okay I don't know what is in the middle that I so I let it be bx and I just substitute a value of x equals to 1 in this case into this equation as well as this this whole equation because they are all the same and I can find out what is in between and I'll just write it down Okay, so this is called your inspection method. Now back to this part as well as another, you need another concept which is now over here, you have to check, look at him. Okay, and let's do the discriminant for him. So the b square minus 4ac of this quadratic equation is 8 square minus 4ac. Okay, and this will give me 64. Yeah, minus um, 16 times 8, okay, which is going to give you less than 0. So if this guy is less than 0, okay, it means that he has no real roots. It also means that it's, a U, it's also a U shape because it's x squared. If he has no real roots, any quadratic with no real roots, right, this is always positive. Yeah, so that's why in secondary school, when the question asks, when is the quadratic always positive? We say discriminant is less than 0, and this is a trick concept that students cannot uh, know. So I know that this yellow portion is already positive. So I can ignore this yellow portion because my whole fraction is positive. I already know that this is positive, so I don't need to care about him. He does not affect what's happening to my equation because the whole equation has to be positive. So now I can flow down by saying that, okay, my x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 1 must be greater than 0. Okay, sorry, before we go to here, it is it looks like this now. Oh, x plus 2 and x minus 1 must be greater than 0. So this is where you multiply by x plus 2 square on both sides as well as x minus 1 square on both sides because a square number is always positive. So when you multiply by a positive in the inequality, it will not affect the inequality sign. Okay, x plus 2 as well as x minus 1. Alright, then now we can draw the number line. Okay, I know that my, my roots are negative 2, 1, and 2. However, always look back at your original equation. So I look at here. In this case, 2 and x cannot be 2 as well as negative 2 and 1 because it will make the denominator to be 0 and hence, okay, no solution. So I have to put a circle first. I cannot include 2 and 1. Okay, so now I in my mind, I let x equals to 3. Okay, so when I let x equals to 3, this is positive, this is positive, as well as this is positive. So this is a plus here. When I let x equals to now between oh, 1 and 2, uh, that will be 1.5. So if you put it into your three brackets, you don't need to know the values. Of course, if you can key, you can key into a calculator to find out the values. But all you need to know is what kind of sign it will give you. So the first one is going to give you negative, negative. Uh, positive as well as positive that will make it negative yes you submit another value inside here and then you will actually get positive you submit another value inside here you will get negative okay as long as there are no values of x that will disrupt your whole equation you will know this usually plus minus plus minus okay 
I want greater than zero. Circle here, circle here. And therefore, my range is x is in between. Okay, strictly because I cannot, I cannot be negative two. Greater than negative two, smaller than one, or okay, or means union, and I must put this in a set notation, or x greater or equals to two, and that will be my solution for an inequalities question like this. With long with cubic factorization, with always positive concepts.